devil's weed. If you plant goldenrod as a cover crop in all the fields around my house, or fields I, I uh, pass while in the car, or anything like that, lightning can strike your stupid cover crop and burn it to the ground. There is nothing good about this. This plant should be wiped out. The number one duty of the government should be to wipe out this plant. My eyes keep shearing shut because of the because of the because of the stupid pollen from these stupid slutty plants. I really don't want I really don't want your sexy stuff all over my face. It's everywhere. My body doesn't like it. Do you know how many times I've had I've sat down to do this review? Only to have, st break out in a sneezing fit or have my nose start running like crazy? It's insane. This stuff, there is no good reason for it to exist. Eradicate it from the face of the earth before it's too late. Goldenrod has to go. It is the single greatest evil of our time. Well, anyway. The Enemy Within by Marv Wolfman. I always ask myself one question. How do I choose where I'm needed most? Right now, I'm in Japan fighting Brainiac's drones. But I could have been putting out a fire in Haiti. I'm pretty sure Brainiac would kill more people than either of those things, but whatever. So it seems pretty easy to me. Or closer to home, Metropolis, where a school filled with students is being held hostage. I can't be everywhere. Mr. Davis, this is Police Captain Maggie Sawyer. There is no need for violence. You're the school's principal. Please let your students go. Exactly. I'm a principal. I know, be I know better than anyone well, what brats these are. There's every reason for me to shoot them. Yeah, not really making a good case there. So fortunately for me, I've got a card up my sleeve. I truly believe the people of Earth are good and decent, and in times of trouble, they will rise up to make things right. I may be halfway around the world, but Earth's real heroes are everywhere. I cannot do that. I am the first of many. We will not be stopped. Maggie Sawyer's in, char in charge. Perfect. She's strong, but compassionate. If anyone can save lives, it's her. And uh, apparently, uh, this takes place in the 70s, judging by the wardrobe. Mr. Davis, you implemented plans to assure your students' safety. Why would you now put them at risk? And how did you get past them? How did you get past the security precautions that you put in place? Stop talking! Yeah, I'm not sure he can actually pull the trigger like that. The way he's holding that gun. Uh, any gun experts out there want to know if you can actually put enough force on a rifle while holding it like that to actually pull the trigger? Because, judging by the angle, I have my doubts. It looks like it would be really hard, anyway. I will stop. But keep... But you keep referring to someone else. Who are you working with? Okay, you will stop, except I will go on. Maggie's trying to appeal to him, not attack him. Calm down the crisis, not inflame it. Captain, it's too late. The sounds are telling me to, it's time to kill everyone. Even though there's only one person here, I probably should have picked a better spot if I wanted to kill everyone. Somewhere a little more populated. Sounds. Focusing. He's right. I'm picking up digital signals. Miss Davis, thank you for coming. Please tell me what to do. I'll do anything to help. But digital signals are on the same frequency as Brainiac's drones. They're connected. Honey, I love you, but please, for me, put down the gun. He doesn't have a sh he doesn't have a shot on the hostage anymore. Somebody take him down. I want to, Linda, but 
My voice is vain. What? Me to kill you. Oh god, I'm trying to fight them, but I can't. I'm so sorry. The police are going to shoot. They don't realize he's not insane. He's being controlled. Tactical, we can't wait. On my count. Don't shoot, he's dropping his gun. But if I could override the signals, I could stop the drones and sever Brainiac's controls. Oh god, Henry! Principal Davis! Oh no, is he? He'll be fine, ma'am. <laughs> Rubber bullets don't kill, but they hurt like hell. And they don't always take down a guy taking hostages, so good call there. Rubber bullets. Compassion, even under the threat of danger. Way to go, Maggie. Except if you had actually gotten the hostages killed, then I'm pretty sure you'd be up against a review board. So they find, so the police find a control device in the park that, you know, was doing all this, and then Berniak was doomed to lose because, simply put, mankind is stubborn. You can knock them to their knees and threaten them with any number of tortures, but even against overwhelming odds, they won't long bow down to any master. Compared to the natives of other worlds, their bodies are fragile, but it always amazes me how strong they can be. And while human passions can be infuriating, their unstoppable will to ultimately do right, even under the threat of danger, is indomitable. And I'm the one they call Superman. The end. Poor Kurt. This one is okay. It doesn't teach Superman that much, but it is about how, how he relates to the world and his worldview on people, which works out pretty well. My only thing is, is they make it look a little too easy to solve a hostage crisis, but that's... But that's just par for the course for I got comic books. And it does communicate the idea that Superman can't be any everywhere at once, which is something that I feel like Zack Snyder was trying to convey when he made the movie Man of Steel, but didn't get it across. This one does it better, so good for them there. Um I get I give it a I give it a uh, seven out of ten. Good effort. Um and um with decent art and everything. So, yeah, um, that was rather enjoyable. See you next time. Stupid goldenrod.